So we start off this episode somewhere that we haven't been before. Uh, we are meeting with 14 year old Jimmy Joseph. The other day, Jimmy uh, was, you know, feeling a bit mischievous at school. And uh, now he is in a meeting at the principal's office with his parents on either side of him. Your mother and father are both dressed in their work attire. Uh, and despite being here in the principal's office, listening to the principal speak, neither of them really seem invested uh, or really focused on, you know, what's at hand. The principal looks at you. So, what did we, what do you think we did wrong here? You know, this, this is a fine, fine school, all right? Your parents pay good hard money for you to come to this school and all you do is disrespect it? Yeah. Mr. Joseph, you put a cherry bomb in the boys' bathroom. And it burst all of the pipes from that boy's bathroom all the way to the girl's bathroom. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Looks like you need better pipes. Mr. and Mrs. Joseph, um, as you can see, uh, we have tried to give your son, you know, the best learning we can. He is a very, very gifted student. But he just... He... He doesn't care, really. A and we, we wanted to speak with you today to see if there's anything we could do about his behavior. Maybe talk about something that's going on at home. And, um, sorry, what was that? Uh, for the first time in this entire time, your mom looks up from her phone. Um, she goes, uh, oh, yeah, um, I don't know. Um, Jimmy, you want detention? What? Do you want detention? Like, I gotta go. Let's just make this quick. You don't care? What, it, what? Okay, well, whatever whatever he broke or what, we'll pay for it, all right? Um, your dad, like, immediately like, goes to his checkbook and pulls it out, puts it on the uh, desk, and the principal's all like, no, 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 that won't, that won't be necessary. We have insurance for things like these, but, um... You don't, you don't see any, any, any problems here? And like, what, what disciplinary action do you think we as the school should take? Um, your mother looks at you and is like, I don't know, what do you think? I don't care. Okay, uh, well, we, um, yeah. Extra homework? Your mom, like, kind of like, looks at the principal the principal looks confused at, and then he uh he looks towards you jimmy i'm gonna roll a perception check on this guy he didn't he he, he rolled decent um jimmy your parents they they're very important people um they work for uh for a man named richard foxtrot uh he is known for his widespread reach in many small businesses and they work for him. They are constantly on their phones, their computers. You don't even remember the last time the three of you sat together to just watch a TV show, you know? And, you know, now you're here in this principal's office and they just, they're, they're, they're fine. You know. Your dad finishes writing out the check, uh, slides into the principal and just goes, uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh we I have to go. Uh sweetie, do you need a ride? Uh your mom just goes like, um, no, nah, I, 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 I I can have somebody come pick me up. It's fine. Um Alright, uh Good talk, uh Jimmy. See you at home, whatever time. Alright. Uh, bye. Uh, your dad gets up and leaves. Uh, the principal tries to stop him. He's like, sir, sir, please, um. He looks at you and your mom. Uh, your mom is still on her phone. Jimmy? 
Um, you're dismissed. You're all right. Uh, we can handle this from here. Okay. And um, you go back to class. Uh, you continue with class, your studies. You get through high school pretty easily. You go to college. And in college, you are nailing it. Uh, what what type of masters did you go for? Bum, bum. Uh, Jimmy Jimmy spent a lot of his time creating bombs and like his chemistry classes. Uh, just messing around with a lot of different things. You know, he has created concoctions of different chemicals that no one thought was possible. Uh, he's the type of man who can take a jelly bean and turn it into ash in less than thirty seconds. You are sitting at your college graduation, graduating from a university with high honors, uh, with a major in chemistry. Um, one by one, they start listing off everyone's names. Um, Jimmy Joseph, uh, you start to walk up towards the stage. Uh, you accept your diploma. The, uh, the, uh, um, the dean gives you a firm, firm handshake. Uh, and like nods at you. Uh, roll ahead, go ahead and roll for perception or investigation, whichever one is higher for you. 17, so 20. 20, good, good roll. You look into the crowd and you see a whole sea of faces looking back at you. Parents, little siblings, everyone is smiling, except for maybe like. You know, the six or seven year olds who don't know what any of this means and they're just there for their older sibling, you know. Um, the only people you don't see in the crowd are your mom and your dad. You take your diploma, you go back to your seat, uh, and you sit throughout the entire ceremony. Uh, finally, it's time for everyone to walk out. Uh, the crowd stand up and, uh, you start heading towards the, uh, the big quad on campus, uh, as the music begins to play again. As you are leaving from the ceremony, you see running in with her bags in hand and her suit in her other hand. She runs in, she, your mother just in time to see you walk out. The two of you catch each other's eyes for a split second. What do you do? Walk away. You keep on walking. The music keeps going. You guys finally make it to the quad and uh, she runs, catches up with you. It was like, hey, sweetie. Uh, wonderful, wonderful graduation. Good job with your, um, with your uh, diploma. And... Um, Biology. Chemistry. Yes. <laughs> Good job with your chemistry. Uh, your dad and I are really proud of you. Uh, something came up with work. Um, but uh, we're, we're so, so proud of you. Good job. Good job, sweetie. Uh, you want you want pancakes? We can go get some pancakes. No. No, I don't want that. Um... Okay, um, well, well, I'll see you back home then. Cool. Uh, good job. Love you. Okay. You walk away, uh, and your mom kind of stands there for a brief moment. Uh, do you look back at her at all? No. No? no? All right. No. <laughs> As you're walking off campus, you hear... A voice calling out from behind you. Mr. Joseph. Uh, uh, Mr. Joseph? J uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Joseph. Yes? You turn around. Uh, you see this older gentleman. Um, he's skinny. He's lanky. Um, he's starting to, you know, kind of bald a little bit. Uh, just a few gray hairs here and there. Uh, and he's starting to grow in, like, a nice little beard. He's got a lab coat in one hand. And on his leg, it seems to be that he has a robotic prosthetic for his leg. 
Uh, very, very basic. You know, you, there are wires sticking out here and there. It seems like a very rushed job. Uh, and he looks at you and says, um, hi, yes, I know this is very strange. Um, uh, the name is, uh, um, Dr. Gerald Bixby. You came highly recommended from your professors and your dean. Uh, I am looking for someone to be a, be an intern for me. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know, I've been watching you and I feel like you would be a, a good, good fit for our company. Oh, okay. Yeah, um... So you you majored in chemistry, um, but uh, there are there chemistry is very broad, um, despite what many people think. Is there anything specific that you've been you know kind of looking towards, looking into? Well, a um, little bit more of um, explosive technologies. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, well, here's my card. Uh, Bixby and Connor's laboratory. Um, it would be a pleasure to have you come work with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, call me when you get the chance. I will. Uh, Gerald throws his lab coat over his shoulder, and he starts to walk on out. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and everything else in between, and welcome to the fourth episode of Dungeons and Morons. What? Let's go. What? <laughs> this is season one, a timeless march, uh, where we follow a bunch of adventurers through many different time periods. Our first adventurer, Siyama, playing Ivy Connors. What's my name? Bart, playing Bartold the Brash. What's up? We have Amelia Oliveris as Alex Foxtrot. And returning after his his hiatus after episode one, we have Jimmy playing Jimmy Joseph. Ow! Oh. Hey. He's hey. back, he's back. We begin with Jimmy Joseph. Should I? Jimmy, you open your eyes in the middle of a busy, packed cyberpunk city. Bright neon lights are flashing all around you. The streets are teeming with people. People rushing by, pushing past each other. People, like, have cybernetic attachments to themselves. Like, cybernetic eyes, cybernetic arms. You no longer look weird with your weird cybernetic gloves. 
You look around this strange, strange place. You see busy shops. You see shady dealings. Uh, and you see, you know, different dark alleys and clubs. What would you like to do? Walk around. Yeah, go. Uh, you you start to walk around. Go ahead and roll perception or investigate, whichever is higher. Fourteen. All right, yeah. So you start walking around. This place is nice. Like, the thing about it is, it is the idealistic future, but still in a realistic world. You know, you have all these great inventions, like flying cars. You can see them zooming up overhead. Uh, Satellites, lights beaming down everywhere. But... Looking up, it's beautiful. Looking down, you see trash, rats, dirt, grime. This place is beautiful, but, you know, it has no sense of upkeep. Everyone's just kind of there. All right, uh, you start You start to explore this kind of, you know, cyberpunk city. Uh, you realize the higher you go in the city, the nicer it is. But this guy's address is on the third level. When you woke up, you woke up somewhere about the seventh level. You know, it's still nice, but it's very dirty. You start moving down and down and down into the deep toils of the city. You know, this is where things like necessary businesses are, you know, like small businesses, small shops, um, but also like drug dealings. It's not a safe neighborhood. You look around, you see lots of people cramped into tight spaces, trying to live their lives. Uh, and as you're walking down the street, go ahead, roll investigation. Ten. Ten. All right. Uh, you start to get near the edge of edge of the city. Uh, you pass by a large government building, it seems, uh, that says passports on it, bright white sign. As you're passing by this building, somebody pushes by, knocks you in the shoulder. He pushes past you and turns left into a dark alleyway beside the passport building. Just stop. Come up on me. All right. Uh, like a like a loose follow or what do you think? Like a loose follow. Still. Loose follow. All right. Uh, you start to follow this guy into the back. Um, when you turn the corner, you see he is talking to somebody. You can't see that person's face, um, but you hear whispering. Hey, you got it? You got the money? Uh, yeah. Um, Eduardo uh, pulls out from his pocket and starts like flipping dollar bills. It doesn't seem like a lot. Maybe like a couple hundred bucks. And he hands it to the guy and the guy looks at it. And he's like, all right, you're a little bit short, but it's fine. Um, uh, any weapons? Anything on you? I can't get you past if you don't have it. If you have any weapons on you, he's like, no, I'm, I'm good. Look, sure, turn out your pockets. Uh, Eduardo reaches into his pockets, pulls them out. There's nothing in there. Eduardo is completely unarmed. Uh, then the man has a smile creep across his face. He goes down into his duffel bag beside him. Quickly pulls out a brick, slams it against Eduardo's head. Eduardo stumbles backwards, his head hits the back of the dump- dumpster, and he falls to the ground unconscious. The man looks around, looks to his left, then he looks to his right. Uh, make a stealth check. Alright, uh, you don't see this guy, but, uh, sorry, no, you see this guy, but he doesn't see you. Uh, he has black hair. It's it's a huge mess of black hair. Uh, he's wearing a white button-up shirt with an undone tie. Uh, and Eduardo's blood is all over his face. And he's happy about it. Does he have any, um, cybernetic? No. Just seems like a guy. <laughs> no cybernetic enhancements. He looks both ways, doesn't see you. He continues... Smashing Eduardo in the head with a brick. 
slamming it over and over and over. You notice the smile on his face becomes wider and more crooked as he continues to berate this guy, beat him to a near inch of his life. Oh. You gotta get him in a minute. Oh, I'm gonna... End his ass. Hmm. Fuck it, I'm gonna use, um, Tenter's Experiment Pit. Mm-hmm. What is that? You create a magical pit in unoccupied space of your choice within range. The pit must be anchored to a solid surface of such as floor, wall, ceiling. It may not be created in mid-air or on liquid surface. 10 feet wide, 10 feet across, 10 feet deep. And it lasts for a minute. All right, you reach into the ground with your gloves. You turn them on. Reach to the ground. The earth begins to shake and a huge pit erupts underneath him. Uh, there's no any, there's no saving throws he can make, no nothing like that? No. Nope. Alright. Nice damage. Yeah, he, he falls into the hole uh, along with Eduardo's body. Um, and poor Eduardo. And uh, you just hear from the bottom of the pit laughing. <laughs> Who's there? Can I look around on the floor to see if there's anything? Um, yeah, you you look around. Uh, he did have a duffel bag with him, uh, but when you open this pit, it fell down with him. In terms, in terms of a dexterity saving throw, he rolled really, really well. Oh, oh my god! Uh, this guy's fucking hot. I don't like him. No, he's scared of me either. He rolled a twenty-four. Oh shit! So he quickly like jumps up. Grabs, pushes himself out of the pit. Oh, oh my god. And he looks directly at you. Oh. Hi. You gotta do something quick, man. He starts booking it towards you, beelining it. Oh my god. Oh, fuck no. Uh, yes. Go ahead, make a dexterity saving throw against his opposed dexterity. Oh, Critical fail. Oh, Critical fail. God. This is a fucking monster. I know D D. Oh boy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh god. This guy runs up to you, grabs you by the throat, pulls you in close, and with one swift motion, pulls something out from his belt. No, no, no. Pokes it into your neck. You feel the needle go under your skin. No. Shh. You lose consciousness in about three seconds. Oh my Damn. god. You just got fucking drunk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, and that's shit. how we start off the episode, we guys! Oh, no! No! We don't have Jimmy anymore! No, he's not. He's just unconscious that we know I know, of. but there's so many things that we gotta go find Jimmy. Barthold. Barthold. You awaken in a white, very nice, and pristine prison cell. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh. Instead of bars, it is a, you know, kind of bulletproof glass. Uh, you can see across into a large... Very nice police precinct. I'll start banging on those. Hello? Uh, hello? Hey, they can't hear you in here. Who are you? Uh, you turn around. Uh, you see a very old man, uh, gray hair, kind of slicked off to the side, and he's wearing a full tuxedo. <laughs> what is your name? The name's D. God! B. The name's DB. Why Sorry, I'm all that talk slow. Let me finish. The name's the Cooper. World. The name's I, DB Cooper. I believe we've met. I've never seen you a day in my, my life. My name's B. BB. BB Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> I like your name. You got good parents. <laughs> guys. That's rare here. Um, it's rare at the same time. No, for real. Uh, DB's just like, yeah, I've been here about like five. Five. Mm-hmm. What is this? Ah, uh, prison. What is prison? Uh, whoever <sighs> your parents ever put you in a timeout? I took over the clan from my parents. I uh, I don't think when, they ever had the balls to put me in a right. timeout. Your clan? <laughs> when somebody in your clan does a does a does a boo boo, what a, when you put them in like a little little tiny little tiny cell, you know? We just beat the shit out of them. All right. Well, this is like beating the shit out of you, but mentally. Interesting. It's prison. That's a good strategy. Yeah. I'll have to take that back to the village. Oh, right. fuck my village. 
<laughs> my village too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my village. oh my village! I, I God, I, I, I know, know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, my I family. am a village. My oh, family. Oh. <laughs> oh my daughter. How do I get out of here? Um. Uh, How do I get out of prison? You know, I've never undone a crime before, but no. you can try. I would, uh, what what crime have I committed to look in the uh, uh, I don't sweep that way. I don't either. Oh. <laughs> and then I appreciate the compliment, I suppose. He winks at you. <laughs> uh, one of the cops, uh, an older man, uh, longer face, deep wrinkles, um, and... Uh, snow white hair he looks up at you and just sees a naked viking staring back at him <laughs> hello <laughs> he, he still doesn't hear you i felt i don't care I but he starts to like kind of panic and like he uh he starts to walk up to the to, to the bright shield of glass and he presses a button and it all of a sudden goes white and he can't see through it anymore so can't see through the glass well that's why I failed. I put start putting my clothes back on. <laughs> um, you see kind of like shadows moving past, uh, but then you you notice that towards the door, which you can still see through, uh, a shadow walks by, and you see it's the same man who just turned the window off. He uh, turns on a button. He's like, "Who arrested you?" I don't know. I woke up in here. <laughs> All right, gotta tell the boys that every homeless man isn't a criminal. Um, I'm, I'm, have well, I done something wrong in your society to land me in this uh, prison? Well, if you, what uh, what level are you from? Level, I'm from the Elden Clan village. I, I I don't believe I'm from around here, around these parts. Let me see your arm. Uh, he opens a little. <laughs> hole in the window just kind of slides open and he's like stick your arm through the please okay he grabs your arm starts looking it up and down Uh, 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 (laughs) do you does Bartold have any tattoos probably not Uh, Viking I don't think Viking really had tattoos yeah so he looks you up and down and he just sees your arms completely blank and he's just like are you an outsider yes absolutely I do not belong here all right Put your clothes back on. I, I, I've already had uh, he, he lets You go up to the, the, the door and he's like, Hey, DB, I'm going to open the door. Don't don't try anything stupid. He's like, All I know are things that are stupid. At least he's honest. Uh, I like this guy. And uh, so he opens the door and he's like, Come with me. He walks you back to his desk, uh, sits you down. He's like... He throws handcuffs onto one of your wrists and handcuffs you to his desk. All right. Um, well, I've seen these before. Cool. Yeah. Do not need to know that. Uh, what is your name, sir? My name is Bartold the Brash of the Elden Clan. What year is it? Sorry? What year? Wh- where, when am I? I don't really need to know where. When am I? 3049? Nah, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, sir. Uh. You said Bartold the Brash. It is Bartold the Brash. All right. Uh. And um. What district are you from? Uh, ooh, a district. I'm not familiar with the district system. Okay. Well, this is. Uh. We are currently in. Uh. Euphoria. So. You're not from this district, I can Led tell. Led by Zendaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a word came to my mind. I'm just gonna write. <laughs> really I'm just gonna write. I love Zendaya. <laughs> right now, I love Zendaya. Um, oh, sir, do you have any any memory before you wound up in the cell? Uh, where were you? I remember being at the pyramids of Giza. I'm Those you. don't exist anymore, sir. Well, yes, it was in the past. All right, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. All right, here he pulls out a brochure, slaps it on the desk. He's like, I cannot read. Fine. He picks it up and he starts to read it. 
Welcome to Euphoria, Colorado, a new enterprise in futuristic city and futuristic living. Uh, this is one of the last standing cities in the world. Um, blah, 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 blah. We have many amenities. Um, robotic limbs are, are cheaper here. We have a good economy. Listen, sir, uh, this is a very nice city. Uh, we don't, however, take too kindly to outsiders. I um, will try to get... I don't want to be here either. Listen, we... I don't want to bother doing any paperwork or anything. So, what I'm just, I'm just going to cut you a deal, sir. All right. You know, I've I've been homeless myself, so I know it's a difficult situation. Um, so, I'm just going to... I'm going to just... Here. Put your arm in the machine, sir. You see a large white machine with, like, a hole in it and blue light coming out of the machine. Okay. I stick my hand. In. You stick your arm... Uh, palm facing up, sir. Uh, there okay. you go. Perfect. Uh, and then he starts to input numbers onto a keypad. You're like, okay, sir, uh, you are now uh, going to be given a nine-digit code, and this is how you are going to do everything here in Euphoria. Okay. Uh, all payments, all purchases will be done through this code. Uh, he presses the go button, and a searing pain. You're chilling. Like, it kind of it kind of stings a little. It pinches. I've had phone. worse from the Egyptians. <laughs> Don't know what that means, uh, but that's fine. Uh, so, uh, oh, one a more question, sorry. How far south are we? Sorry? How far south are we? Uh, Colorado? I, listen, you don't need to worry about north, south, anything anymore. You're here now. All right. Okay. Listen, this land doesn't take too kindly to outsiders, but once we once we get you in the system, all right, once you start, you know, paying taxes and things like that, you are taxes. You are a those are like, the brochure again. Are those like tributes? a beloved member of Euphoria the city. Who the fuck writes this? Um yeah, just Pay your taxes. Uh, you're in the system now. Uh, you pull your arm out of the machine as smoke poof, comes out, and you see written on your arm is a nine-digit code. All right, so that is your new code. That is how you get around the city. Um, sir, just whatever. Don't get arrested, and please keep your clothes on. Do you know uh, an old soldier like me, my friends? You're a soldier. Um, I live swords. All right. Um. Well, helping out fellow fellow veteran, I can. Yeah, I can get you. I can get you set up with something. Uh, here, go to this address. He hands you a card. Uh, for essentially a uh a thrift store for for those who are misplaced. Have you seen uh, a young woman, blonde hair? Not my daughter, but hmm. maybe somewhat of an adopted. Okay, so you want me to find you someone who is blonde? No, my... Sorry. Not my... She's not my daughter, but I look after her. Someone also an outsider like me. All right. Uh, sir, typically when there are outsiders in the city, they are brought into police departments or, um, you know, camps. So, have you seen many outsiders lately? I guess not really. Well, uh, sir, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let you off with a warning. All right. I'm sorry, sir. He unlocks uh, your handcuffs. He's like, doors out that way. Um, yeah, uh, go buy yourself some clothes. All right, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> I start pulling <laughs> shit out of the yeah, full, break into a full sprint. Uh, uh, you start sprinting out the door, and I'll, I'll go to I'll go to work. Why not? Uh, That's Alex. Store. Oh hi. What's you up? wake up. Looking at the police precinct Damn. as a half naked man runs out. <laughs> oh, wait. This is your first introduction to this new world, and you see half naked Bartold running out of a building. Oh my god, oh my god, Bartold! Oh, Bartold! Young Alex! Dude, how yeah. are you? Uh, well, I was in prison for uh, some time. I don't remember, I woke up there. How long have I been here? How long have you been here? Uh, you look around in this very new uh, area. You are on one of the very much higher levels of the city. Oh, it is heck? very nice. 
very clean. Uh, you have like kind of like glass floors, uh, and you can look down at all the levels below you. Whoa! Um, everything is white and and shiny and sparkly. What kind of like shit is this, bro? I have found work, so I'm going to head there because I I need information and I need to get set. Okay, yo. Would you like to join me? Yeah, but what's on your arm? I, I do not recognize these symbols, but it's some sort of identification. Did you get that here? Yeah, uh, at the police station. Crap. Wonderful young man gave it to me. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'll go ahead and follow you. Dope. It's best to stick together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you guys are now in Euphoria, Colorado. Cool. Very fancy city. You're up on the higher levels. Just fully, just fully head to work. Uh, we then... Whatever work is. Go to the lower levels. The lowest possible levels. Great. Um, Ivy, you wake up and you see dirt, grime everywhere. There is a roof above your head, but it is just like... It is a... Flat cement ceiling with little lights shining down. Mm -hmm. You look around and you are standing in what seems to be a massive crater. People in uh, like kind of like whitish jumpsuits covered in soot and dirt are hitting pickaxes, shovels. They are digging this hole deeper and deeper like some sort of mine. Do I see, am I with anyone? Uh, You start to look around. and you see standing in the exact same, like a little bit further off from you, uh, you see Abigail. Fully walk up to her, or like walk up to her. Oh God, what is this? I, I, I don't know, we just got here. Um, they seem to be mining. Yeah, um, how, we're in a crater, how bit, how tall is it? Uh, it is very kind of deep uh like i would say maybe like 200 feet the roof is like 200 feet above you uh and it does not seem like it is the only only one of these craters it seems like this is one of many is there any um do i see any way to like get out of here um it is i roll investigate Um, abigail will too 15. Uh, I would go a little bit seven. Uh, so you, you don't see an exit, but you do see like kind of like guards stationed around and they're like surveying the area, uh, checking on all these, these workers, these laborers. Uh, there is so much dust in the air. Uh, and it, it starts to kind of like fill your lungs. Uh, you notice that like all the other workers around here are wearing kind of like face masks. Um, so it's clear that we're not, you definitely don't belong there. Yeah. You see quite a few guards right now. Uh, some of them are just kind of like patrolling back and forth. Uh, they have flashlights. Uh, they're like shining them down on all the workers. Uh, you see one guard, uh, who's like kind of standing over a woman a little bit of the distance and he is, he's yelling at this woman. Um, What, what is he saying? Uh, he's just screaming things like, um, you should be working right now. You are down here to work. All right. This is, this is, you want to live in this city? You got to do your job. All right. This city runs because I do my job and my job is to make sure that you do your job. Simple as that. Do you understand me? The woman looks up and she says nothing. I'm going to... Is that a charm? Do I not see any other Darn guys? It? Oh, charm. It's a wisdom saving throw. Alright, can you see 13? Uh, they roll a 6. Nice! Okay, okay so oh, nice. successfully charm them? Yeah, you fully charm them. Uh, they stop shouting, they look up and they just smile. Uh, the woman who was like on her knees beneath him just kind of like looks around confused. Uh, you see she has fair skin, long black hair, uh, and she makes eye contact with you. I don't necessarily say anything. I just like, give her a look back. She nods. Uh, she gets up and she, she like starts heading back and continues working. Mm-hmm. I'm going to walk up to the, to the guy, the guard. 
Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, we got placed here on yes. accident. Oh, uh, the you system see, doesn't make accidents. Oh, it did. Are you, what level are you from? Um, seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. We can get you. We can get you out of here. Um. The doors typically don't open until work hour is over. Mm -hmm. Uh. You know, cause like runaways. Yeah. You know. Not understandable. Yeah. Uh, we don't want them up there. When When does that? Sorry. When does that happen? Uh. You get about like 10, 15 minutes. You know. All right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so... Would you be able to help us out of here? Uh, well, yeah, you'll just get out with everybody else. I can't open the door myself. It... Yeah, of course. Yeah. Is uh, there anything else I can do for you, man? Have you, have you seen anyone who looks like, uh... Don't really belong? I don't... Vague question. <laughs> well, uh, two of you seem to be in very interesting get-ups. Uh, Told you you're not from this. You know what? They suit you. They suit you so well. Thank you yeah. so much. Really uh, and especially like her whole thing. Abigail's just like standing there with like her arms crossed and like she she looks down at her cowboy fit and she's like is it like oversized because it's bar hold size? It's so big. Uh, for you it was like kind of like up to here and for her it's like a full jacket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we just get let out to the City. Uh, yeah, you gotta go through the whole like, desanitation process. You know. Of course. Uh, yeah, I can help you through. Thank you. Yeah, no yeah. So, I guess we'll just wait till the door's open. Yeah, uh, have, this charm dude, options. you have this man fully charmed, so, hour, yeah. like, he will not do anything unless you tell him to. So he's just standing there, just, like, smiling, just, like, <laughs> not doing anything. Nice. Cool. So you and Abigail are now in this, like, pit, yeah. essentially. Uh, people are working, they're slaving away. Um, the air is tough to breathe, but it's still breathable. Put, uh, can I put like my bandana back on? Can I yeah, give me, like, a yeah. Little... so now you, you and Abigail both have matching bandanas. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I feel like cowboy. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. Uh, so you guys are like walking around, kind of exploring this area. Uh -huh. um, looking for anything in particular? Um, do I know what they're like mining for? Uh, it seems like they're they're just looking for anything that could like be beneficial towards, like you know, any iron, any gold. Uh, it's it's they're desperate. Yeah. They're trying to find just resources, even flint. You know. Yeah. Like things are are harder to come by here, but they are still you know kind of using like slave labor to like get it. I'm actually going to take this to cut to Jimmy. Jimmy, you wake up almost stripped. Damn. You are wearing your black shirt, your black jeans, but your shoes are gone and your gloves are gone. As well as your oh, lash No. You are... Yeah, your magic is fucked right now. You are chained up in this basement. And you see, crouched over you, just smiling down, was the guy from the alleyway. Ew. Good morning. Ew. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> you, uh, you uh, OJ man or, uh, or milk? Or juice? Yeah, alright, alright, I'll be right back. Uh, he... He turns around and he's, he starts heading up the steps. As he walks up the stairs, you see on the other side of the basement chains for other people. Chained in the basement, across from you are two men Eduardo and another older man. Uh, this man is. Well, you see Gerald. Oh my god. Chained up against the wall. What the fuck? No. Just like you, lab coat removed, as well as his prosthetic leg. Oh shit. He's chained against the wall, and you see him completely unconscious. This guy's crazy. He got Gerald. He's good, dude. God. He put us in a sex dungeon. <laughs> 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 uh, so, yeah, uh, go ahead, roll perception, just to kind of like get the feel for this room. Oh. Oh, oh my lord. 
natural one. one. You are still very, very groggy from the drugs. Jimmy, do you want some dice? You want you want here, your buddy. You want to borrow some dice? You want to borrow? You want to borrow the honey guy? Can I re-roll? Can I re-roll? Can I? No. You can re-roll. You can re-roll. Wait, you can take the honey dice. You're not gonna. Borrow the honey dice for now. Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh. You look around the room. It's essentially just a cement block. With chains hanging down for different people. Uh, you see, like, there's like a drain in the middle of the floor, and the surrounding area of it is just stained with blood. Oh. It oh. smells oh. awful what in the here. Hell is uh, and along one of the walls is a table covered with saws, hammers, weapons, essentially things that. It's it's clear he uses these things to torture people. Uh, down. And in the center of the room is a staircase going up. You hear as he exits and a boom, boom. It sounds like a metal vault door at the top of the staircase. You're alone in this room. Eduardo is drenched in his own blood. His, sca- his skull nearly caved in, and Gerald's unconscious. Oh, can you not do anything? He doesn't have any magic. He doesn't have his gloves. You hear the door opens up again, uh, and footsteps come down the stairs. Uh, you see the deranged man looking at you. Again, just kind of like relaxed, smiling. He's like, so, who are you? How's it going? Uh, he hands you the glass of orange juice, slides it across to you. I don't know who the fuck I am. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, uh, you're in you're in my home. No, I, I figured. Yeah. Welcome. I like you. I like I like these. Uh, and he lifts up his hands, and he's wearing the JJ gloves. Oh. I don't like you. Did you make these? He like kind of like snaps and like a spark appears on his fingers. I could use these. He clenches his fist and the claws come out on either end. Oh fuck! Releases it and they go back in. These are nice. Welcome for your uh, extended stay. He's kind of like poking and prodding at you. Um, and he's like, this is going to be fun. Uh, you know what? Since you woke up first, I'll let you decide first. Oh, shit. He points around the room, points at Eduardo. Meanie. Meanie. Miney. And he points at Gerald. Mo. Can I flip a coin? <laughs> <laughs> I can flip a coin for you if that's what you want. No, I, but I have to flip the coin. <laughs> <laughs> How are you uh, going to do that? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not as stupid as you you are, okay? So, who's it going to be? You going to take one for the team, buddy? No, no. Come on, no. come on, it'll be we fun. We're here to, to play. So what do you say? What do you say to him? Hey. Well, fuck you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you a funny one? Uh, he goes over to his table of little trinkets and things, uh, and he starts lifting things up. He lifts up a, you know, wire cutters. And he looks at them, squeezes them, puts them down. <laughs> he grabs a pair of needle nosed pliers. <sighs> and he walks over to you. Yo! He's gonna get your fucking teeth, bro. <laughs> You're so fucked. He goes up He goes up to you. And he grabs your hand as it's in the chain. Oh. No. And bends your hand over 
the handcuffs. He grips the tweezers onto one finger. We're going to play a game, okay? All right, you ready? What's your name? Jimmy. Last name? Joseph. All right, all right. He releases, moves on to the next finger. He moves on to your ring finger. He's moving backwards. What level are you from? What do you mean level? What level are you from in the city? I'm not from here. Roll a constitution check. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, my fucking curse. Why did you use the dice? Oh, my God. You're fucking cursed, man. Oh, my God. Say goodbye. What's fucking happening, dude? Uh, he deals one damage to you. Oh, oh. that's not bad. As he. With the needle nose pliers, you feel as he tugs and pulls at your fingernail. You feel the deep root of it oh, fuck. I hate this. Oh, at the fuck, base fuck, of your fuck. finger, dragging out. Blood starts peering over I'd the rub of my your finger. finger. <laughs> and with one full yank, ah shit, he pulls it out. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, are you okay? No, are you okay? Oh no! He holds it up to the light and he looks at it. He oh, smiles. Fuck. Oh shit. This guy's a twisted. What the fuck? Uh, You're the first one who didn't scream. Cause moves on, he moves up to the next finger. Don't oh, play Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Don't antagonize. In the alleyway earlier, what did you see? Uh. Saw a guy. Mm hmm. That one. Oh! Yes, our friend. That's it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ooh. Oh, all right, all right. gonna take her other fucking finger now, bro. No. Oh, he moves on to the next finger now. Oh, shit. He is now on your index finger. Dude, that's an important finger, my guy. I can't lose that one. <laughs> <laughs> he grips it. Tight, the thumb finger now. Thumb. That's your gaming finger, bro. That's the no. gaming finger. How are you gonna hold shit? He was running from somebody. And it wasn't you. But is there somebody that you're running from? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, though. I'm not running from anyone. <sighs> oh, it was such a fun game. But I could see it in your eyes. Nobody is as fearless as you're pretending to be. Okay? Not even me. Everyone has their problems. Everybody's running from something. I'll give you one last chance. Who are you running from? No one. Oh Constitution saving throw. Oh, 19. 19. Damn. Just straight 19. Yeah, he rolled a 17, so you are good. Um, uh, it only deals one damage. Here it 11. Oh, he took it. He took no. He fully. You're just he, one finger. You, you you look at him and you Come say you're not scared him. of anybody, and he yanks the thumbnail out. You are now missing your thumbnail and your ring finger. We now we return to Ivy and Abigail. Actually, hooray! Uh, Hello. We'll get our time. I was last. You yeah. you guys are in the mines and. All the LED lights from above turn bright red, uh, and everybody drops what they're doing. Uh, they pick up all their tools and everything, 
and you just see a long, long line of people, mm-hmm. all wearing completely white, covered in soot and dirt and ash, mm-hmm. walking towards a big door that's slowly whirring open. Um, you try to meet up with the guard, right? Yeah. Uh, so you and Abigail go to the guard who is waiting in a separate line than all the other all the, all the other folk, mm-hmm. uh, and he goes. Uh, yeah, uh, you're gonna have to go through the, uh, the, uh, the level zero line. It, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but, uh, you know, they'll get you sanitized and everything. Uh, and you, you and, uh, Abigail get into the line. Um, as you're waiting in the line, you look above and you see one by one, people are taking their tools, they're dropping them off in these buckets, and the buckets are going behind the wall. And a new empty bucket pops up from a review. Uh, and people are doing this over and over and over again, mm-hmm. emptying their tools. And then they move on to a different room through, like, a little plastic screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are walking through this area, and you notice that uh, the woman in front of you in line is looking back at you. Like, she's a couple people in front of you, but she's looking back at you. Did and people recognize her? She was the girl that you saved, okay. uh, that you like interjected with, mm-hmm. uh, and she's like kind of like looking back at you, and uh, you know the people behind her. She's like, "Oh, you can go ahead, go go right ahead, go right ahead," and she keeps letting people interject her in line until uh, you guys catch up with her. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hi. I saw what you did back there. Uh, yeah. Um... You didn't have to do that. You're from. Are you, you said you're from one of the higher levels. Um, yeah, I don't know how we got down here. Okay, but no, that, um, this is going to be, uh, can I see your arm? Sure. Uh, you hand your arm to the woman and she looks it up and down and she's like, she shows you her arm and she shows you numbers on her wrist and she puts her sleep back on and she's like, Okay, um, we're gonna continue going through this process. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get through the doors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have spare clothes that you you can borrow uh, if you need them. Uh, follow me. Okay. I have a quick question. Yes. Um, what? When are we? What year is it? Thirty forty nine. Okay. Uh, so she um, goes up to the buckets. She drops off um, her her pickaxe, her tools. Um, the wall closes it off, and another bucket pops back up. Uh, you, Abigail, and this other woman continue in the line. Uh, so you guys go into uh, the uh, other room, uh, and in the that other room you have rows and rows of different lockers mm-hmm. uh and the woman like kind of like ushers you and you guys go towards the far far end of the area um she pulls you guys aside to what seems to be like a pretty empty row like mm-hmm. not too many lockers are down here uh and she pulls out a little a little tiny pocket knife and picks it locker opens and there are two spare outfits in there uh they're kind of weirdish looking clothes clothes um kind of reddish bright colors but still very dirty and beat up clothes I, yeah we're not yeah I'm she not, hands the clothes to you and abigail and she's like all right, uh i'll let you have your privacy and then she goes over to the next row and she opens up her locker and begins changing thank you um i, I don't i don't feel comfortable not I want to keep this on. It's okay. You can keep it on. Okay. You can keep the clothes just in case. You can keep them on. Okay. Um, yeah. No. yeah. Uh, Whatever you're comfortable with. Abigail takes, like, her set of clothing and, uh, and like, kind of uh, tucks it into, like, the deep pockets of the huge jacket she's wearing. Um, Alright, I guess I change. I want to keep, like, jacket I'm wearing or, like, yeah, like a jacket or something. Yeah. I want to keep aspects of something. Yeah. 
No, you're you, so uh, you change and you can keep your cowboy jacket or you can keep your bandana or both. Both. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so you keep the bandana around your neck and your cowboy jacket, uh, and uh, Molly's like, all right. Uh, ooh, nice jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then she's just like, all right, this way. Uh, they continue to kind of like crowd people out of the building, mm-hmm. uh, and as they're checking for people's IDs as they exit. Uh, the woman pulls you guys aside and uh, tucks you between a little tiny crack between the security outpost and the wall Mm -hmm. and uh, pulls you into this dark little area. Uh, Roll for self. Fourteen. Uh, I'll also roll the fourteen. Alright, so you guys... uh, this woman starts to guide you through like this dark, grimy area, pulls you through, and then all of a sudden you are out the other side of this working complex. Um, she has successfully snuck you out of there. Um, you find yourself on level zero of this huge city. Um, it is cement. It is decaying wood. It is a gross run downtown. Garbage is just all over the floor because there's nobody there to clean it up. Mm-hmm. And on one of the large cement walls is just a big number zero just looming over the entire city. The woman ushers you to follow her. Come here. Uh, you're going to continue with her? Yeah, I don't have lots of choices here. Uh, yeah, so you guys keep going, and she starts, uh, like, you start to follow her throughout this town. Um, you see the homeless. You see homeless men, women, children. Mm-hmm. Um, you see lots of people who are struggling to make ends meet. Mm-hmm. They are wearing the same dirty, tattered clothes that this woman is wearing. Um, unlike them, however, she has a sense of like pep in her step you know she she seems a bit happy ish um and uh pulls you aside to their kind of junkyard area okay. she looks at the two of you and is like can i trust you um yeah as long as this goes both ways uh Abigail says nothing. That's very fair. She, Abigail has had so much issues with trust yes, the past is. week. This, yeah, no, she's a poor girl. You don't have to say anything. Alright, um. Okay. She leads you into the uh, junkyard and pulls apart, uh, pulls away this huge piece of sheet metal Mm -hmm. and inside there is a little kind of tunnel area Mm -hmm. and on the other side of the tunnel you see a bright light the woman starts to go down do you follow what else are you gonna do i mean can i do another insight check uh yeah go right ahead no risk hey all right um yeah, you. It doesn't seem like a a bad light. It seems kind of like a warm, inviting light. Hey. All right. Um. I walk in. I'm like a little defensive. Yeah. Uh. So this woman leads the way, and as you walk in, you see a large community. You see uh these tents, houses that are kind of cobbled together using trash uh like trash bags can be used as awnings things like that it is it is a run down little community but it is a community nonetheless mm-hmm. uh and in the front area you have a little bit of a platform mm-hmm. uh with campfires kind of around it and people are standing at the campfires kind of like warming their hands mm-hmm. um you see uh another woman uh, walk onto this platform. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and she goes into the microphone and she says, Ladies and gentlemen, long have we waited, but it is, it is, it is, it is the beginning of a new era. <laughs> Tears start to kind of like well in her eyes. I would like to invite our fearless leader to the stage. Uh, she starts to give like uh, a round of applause. Everybody else starts to like kind of like cheer. Um, a young man walks out. Oh no! Uh, oh no! <laughs> <man. laughs> uh, brown oh, hair. Brown hair. Oh. Okay. Uh, he walks out and uh, he is also dressed in poor, tattered clothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of level zero, I know not many of us want to be here. Some of us were once on the higher levels and some of us were just born here. This city was not what it was supposed to be. Euphoria was meant to be a safe, Space, safe from tyranny and destruction and warfare. And somewhere along the way, it lost all meaning. Ladies and gentlemen, we are serving a government that doesn't care. Not just about the work that we're doing for them, but they don't care about us. They put these powers into place. They lure in the people, giving us freedoms, giving us safety, giving us shelter, saying that, you know, we're gonna get housing. All we have to do is follow their rules and we follow their rules. But all of the rules they have in place are meant to benefit the ones who made those rules. They don't care about us but they say they do they give us freedoms but they also give us the people who take them away it has been a long long time since i have seen sunlight they don't even let level zeros like me onto higher levels the closest i've ever gotten was level two that changes today we have been saving our money, pooling it together, helping each other, loving one another. Today, a selected group will be heading to the surface. For the first time in ages. So, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, um, it's been a pleasure staying here with all of you. Christine will take things from here. And hopefully, over the coming years, I will see you all in Canada. I will miss so many of you. But we will, we will make it through if we persevere and work together. Thank you. Uh, Everyone erupts into applause. It's so dramatic. <laughs> People start cheering. Yeah. You see the woman with you. Uh, she she she's even like, yeah. Uh, it's it's happening. Um, today is today is the day we break free. Ah. Uh. Question for the dam. Do I see? There's so there's no sunlight. Like there's nothing. No, I can see. no. Wow. It is cement, roofs, walls, everything. Okay. Still learning. All right. Break free from what exactly? The. All right. Um. I don't know if you guys were outsiders or unidentifieds, but um. We. Whatever you've heard about this city is a lie. I don't know why you guys came here or why you're still here. 
but I don't know. This is... <laughs> we need an outsider to guide us. Where do you need to be acting? Well, as far away from here as possible. We don't know what the world looks like out there. We've never seen it. We don't know if it's safe. But it's supposedly breathable again. I'm not opposed to helping. I, I'm just confused. So you really are an outsider. Yeah. Have you... Have you ever seen, you know, the surface? Have you seen Colorado? You look at Abigail. And Abigail goes, I've... I've seen New Mexico, I've seen Colorado, I've I've been around. Yeah. So you you can you can guide us. Mm. Abigail looks around. Listen, um sometimes all you want is to leave home, but then when you do, just can't help but miss it. Is that something that you really want? Trust me, I I want to go back home. Even even though it wasn't the best, even though, you know, I thought there was better out there, there you lose control. More so than what you already had. We don't have any control. <laughs> we can't even control our jobs, our lives. The only thing we can control is what time we wake up in the morning. That's it. Please. Can you guide us? Do you know a way out? There's a group of us, a small group of us, 10 of us to be exact, um, led by uh, Connor. He uh, he was the one who was just speaking. He, he says he has someone uh, on the inside, someone who said that he could offer us passports for a, for a very low price mm -hmm. um, at the registration center by the edge of level three. If you guys can help me get out of here, I can try to help you. We can do that. You're an outsider. They won't. I, 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 if you show them that you don't have an ID, they might let you leave. I mean, you're dressed different. You look different. You, have, you don't have an ID. You can just say you're an outsider. Just on a on vacation on a retreat and you can lead us we listen the way things work here is you cannot leave the city without a passport mm -hmm. the passports are well they are well a passport costs about six months of salary um if you don't eat or get any other special commodities uh, we here in the community, we have gathered our money. We have shared food. We have been saving up so that we can send a party out there mm -hmm. to scope out the land and find somewhere safe. I mean, I can try my best to help you. Thank you. Um... So we're gonna flash forward a little bit. Huge task on your shoulder. Yeah, uh, you're always geez. being asked for stuff, bro. Uh, we are going to flash forward about two days. Um, you have become a part of this community. You have met with Connor. You have met with Christine, and the woman who guided you in. Her name was Molly. Molly. Um, you have been told about essentially the plan. Um, typically, how these passports things work is. You spend a lot of money to get a temporary visa where you can leave the city for anywhere between a month to six months. As soon as that visa is out and you are not back in the city, they will find you and they will arrest you and they will bring you back. Okay. Their plan is to save up all this money, buy 10 passports at a time, send out a group of 10 people and head towards the border to Canada, when where they are hopefully out of range from all these sentries and drones. Uh, in these three days, uh, Bartold has uh, gotten some clothes. Uh, Me and, and Alex. You and Alex have gotten clothes to like kind of like blend in with the locals. Woo! 
you are wearing very bright neon color. Uh, Alex, uh, anything you want to do exploring in this area? Is there a gift shop? There, uh, there are a shop lot there? of shops. You could buy uh, things like cybernetic enhancements. Uh, those are very expensive. Um, you uh, you could do some gambling. You could do some drinking. Uh, you're you're on some of the higher levels, so you're not gonna find any of like the CD underbelly type things. You're gonna find things like you know, pottery shops. Oh, you know, man. things to decorate your house with. We're not gonna be able to find Jerry here. Oh man. Oh, bro. Maybe unless it's. Uh, one thing you do notice, and uh, uh, this Jerry's isn't something for Abby, but one thing you do notice, uh, almost all the plants and all the stars stores are all fake. Interesting. Ew, Lorax. It's all it's all fake plants. Uh, nothing really. You don't see any forms of like growing life. I need Bill. <laughs> uh, I am Elvis. You and Alex have honestly been having a pretty relaxed time. time. Fuck yeah. yeah. You know the upper levels are nice. They yeah, treat you nice. Yeah. It's like fucking Costco with free samples all over the place. You haven't oh, had to sure. worry about paying for food. Oh, it's yes. just always. Handed to you. I love capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, yeah, you guys are living it up. Um, have what's happened between the two of you guys? You know, yeah. this side of the table and this side of the table are having very different stories. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're like all relaxed. We got the rich and wealthy. Yeah. We've got the poor and mm. rebellious. Sex dungeon. <laughs> we got a kidnapped uh, victim. Victim. I feel like I don't know. You're a cool character, bro. I've been protecting Alex. Yeah, bro. Yo, is there Disney here? Like, uh, Disneyland yeah. exists because we're in the future. Sorry you don't know this, but, like... I... Would you have filled, filled me I in? I feel like... Yes. I feel like I would have talked to you about what... Yeah. Literally, literally, yeah, dude. Like, I like Mufasa. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you like Mufasa? I like Mufasa. Yo, dude, he was a great character. Yeah. Checked his son. Checked his... His... Jungle. I suck right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I tell him the story of Lion King. Yeah, well, crying. actually, uh, you don't have to. Um, up in the upper level. Oh shit! We there are Disney Plus. There are right? there are movie theaters. Yes, dude. Baby. Is, dude. Is, is this a I show Bartol the um, There is a. You find a very large office type building. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. And within the building, there are many different rooms that you can essentially rent out. Okay. Uh, and within each room is like a full movie screen. Oh yeah, so we Dude, just, yeah, yeah. We, we, we go drinking, we, yeah. we do some odd jobs, and we just watch <laughs> movies. For real, I don't work, but he is, so he's making all the money. You guys are living just... the dream. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, dude. And like, I get a new pair of shoes. Can we, and then, like, I get a backpack, can I have a backpack? You can have a backpack. You still have your backpack. toga? What? Oh no, I changed my I know, clothes. you're, you're dressed yeah, in like cyberpunk clothes, like, but you still got the- I know, of course, dude. The Mark of the boss. Mouse. Mark of the Mouse. While I'm doing the with. jobs, can I make like perception checks to like, if I hear anything about like maybe outsiders that have come in? Or... Ooh, go ahead and roll. All right. I'm gonna set a high DC for this. Fuck. Uh, well, am I in perce- perception? Yeah. Okay. Or no, investigate, since you're looking around. Well, you can re-roll. No, you, you can re-roll, because it- uh, oh, oh. investigate just a 19. Right? That's no, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> keep my you eye. catch wind of um, lots of complaints. Um, people are complaining about, um, you know, kind of the more about the seedy underbelly of the cyberpunk city and how there's a large suspicion that a lot of outsiders are coming in or leaving the city. Without being documented or identified. Okay. Uh, and you hear that a lot of this stuff is pretty much happening on level three. Uh, yeah, so I guess we should head to level three. Level three? Like go down? Dude, why would you want to leave this place? It's so nice. We learned so many cool things. This was my world. Aren't you happy? It's like... I want to go home. Alex. I cannot stay here. I get it, I'm worried for Abigail, and I am worried for Ivy, and we do have a mission. Do you think they're on this level or lower? Well, I suppose they'd be on level three. That's why things seem to be going down. We have to stop Geraldine. We cannot stay here. All right, you're right. Bye, Disney Plus. 
Goodbye drinking. Goodbye movie theaters. Everywhere. We had our fail. We, we had our, our fun. We had our fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But our friends might be in danger. Yeah. Who knows what have happened? Okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah. All right. So we head down to the third, third level. Pack trying to do something. Yeah, you guys so started down a little bit. As you, as you head shit. towards like the large elevator, <laughs> um, the guard at the elevator gives you like a strange look. He's like, "Are you sure? Like, I could take you to like level six, level five. You." Sure. We have some business down there. But are we like allowed to go back up? Like, what are you talking about? Your identification number still work over there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I show my. Yeah. Yeah. I see him. Yeah. So, down we go. <laughs> All right. He. I you guys get into the elevator, and uh, he hits the button, and it starts sending you guys down at a very, very rapid rate. You look out the window uh, on the elevator, and you see... It's, like, clear? The, yeah, it, it, yeah, you see, like, That's this cool. beautiful city, and then you go down, and you start to see, like, something that kind of reminds you more of, like, Los Angeles, uh, you know, kind of like a, a nicer area like that. You go down to, like, another city, but dirty. Then you go to like the dark, seedy underbelly, the neon flashing signs, things like that. And then you get down to level three. We're actually going to pause on you guys. Right. Jimmy, nasty. you have been in this dungeon for a while now. You don't know how much time has passed, but you have slept maybe eight or nine times. It's been a while. Um, sitting across from the room uh, is Eduardo and Gerald. You have watched as this sadistic creep from upstairs has tortured each and every one of you. Um, some of the wounds and stitches on Gerald's, you know, missing leg uh he has intentionally cut and like cut along the lines as if he was filling in a coloring book um eduardo has been beaten within an inch of his life countless times when he breathe breathes it sounds like <laughs> he is suffering i'm surprised he didn't die Gerald looks at you from across the room. I'm sorry, Jimmy. You weren't... <laughs> sorry, Mama. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm sorry. You weren't supposed to get caught up in any of this, okay? You were a sweet kid, and I... I don't know. I, I, I get overzealous. I'm sorry. Um, you, you have so much potential, and I hope that you, out of any of us, get out of here. Jimmy? Okay. That's a good question. Okay, um, okay, I get it, I get it. No, 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 I get it. Um, cold shoulder. Yeah, I... For sure, for sure, for sure. I, I didn't want any of this. Okay, I just, I. Listen, if you, I, if they had just stayed out of the way, none of this would have gone wrong. All right. I saw them in Egypt. I saw them in New Mexico. I, I'm, I'm scared, Jimmy. None of this is going how it should have. Every time I press the button, it either doesn't work or it goes to the wrong spot. And I, I just, I, I wish I had more time. Should have thought of that earlier. You're right. I should have. Eduardo is fully just passed out. Like he, the, he, he has been knocked unconscious from the pain. Um, Gerald himself um, has also lost a couple, couple fingernails. He has cuts all along his arms. Um, the three of you have seen 
Yeah, so shit. But of all of them, you have been the one that has been the most kind of unscathed. Um, Gerald says, listen, you can you can take the gloves off of him, right? Just you, you just need to get out of the chains. We can, I can, I can, I can try and figure something out. I can. Jimmy, it doesn't have to be this way. We can get out of here. We can live our lives again. We can make, we can make things go back to how it was supposed to be. I live my life. It's too late to live yours. I want to roll investigation to see if there's anything in this room that can help me. Yeah, roll for investigation. But um, after you said that, Gerald, tears began to well up in his eyes. Jimmy, I'm Dude. sorry. Uh, 21. Yeah. Um, something. He comes down occasionally to like feed you guys, give you water, but just just barely enough. You know, to keep you alive, but to like also keep you hungry. Uh, his table full of tools and and weapons and blades, it's all still there. Um, but your gloves have never left his hands. In addition to your investigation, uh, you see your lab coat and Gerald's lab coat hung up on hooks on the other side of the room. Gerald's lab coat is filled with um, his potions as well as the button that allows you all to jump time. Um, Gerald tries to talk to you again. Um, Jimmy, what... Oh, Whatever happens with all of this, I I don't care what you think about me anymore. Just just know that you were always something special. And not enough people see that. Not enough people get to see that. Not enough people pay attention. I should have paid more attention. But it's too late for that now. And with that, Gerald kind of goes silent. We return to Ivy and Abigail. You are traveling in a group of, you know, this lower class community. Uh, Connor leading the way with a bunch, bunch of cash in his pocket. Uh, he is... He is ready for this new day, this new era, this second chance at life. The one that he never got because he was born into this filth and squalor. Mm -hmm. As you guys are walking towards the passport office, you know, you see a lot of other people like you. Um, you know, they're dressed in kind of poorer clothes, but they are... You can tell from a lot of these people's outfits, they are not kind and welcoming they are they they understand that it's eat or be eaten here however there are two people that come out of the crowd that catch your eye because they stand out so brightly mm -hmm. you see alex dressed in bright neon and beside him for once you see a clean barthold Wearing a full set of clothes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Our whole Alex. Oh, Ivy. Hi. Oh, it's Ivy. Let's go. Hey, Hi. we're looking for you down here. Hi. Um, Where have you guys been? Oh, We've been up on the seventh floor. Dude, it's so nice up there. I got to show him what Lion King is. I like Mufasa. Mufasa? Oh, hi, Abigail. Hi. Oh, what's Abigail, you're safe. Yes. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, we're, we're leaving the city. Oh? 
you would leave you're leaving the city. like outside we like not on a different floor we, um we were at level zero Ooh. <laughs> that sucks dude My what's that place. like okay uh, no sunlight at all mm. um and this group i don't know what the fuck is happening but this group is um trying to get passports and escape the city now listen i get it we don't want to you know split apart we want to find a way to find gerald we want to get out of here but i feel like we we need to leave this city well we were tracking a lead to perhaps find gerald you notice that uh, the group of Level Zero community members have made their way to a bright white building. It is pretty much the only kind of clean building uh, on this entire level. Um, you see that there are uh, a bright sign that says city office, identification, and passports. Um, and they start to make their way inside without you guys. Molly oh. looks back at uh, you and Abigail and starts kind of like ushering you guys towards them. Well, sure. me and Alex are going to go investigate more. Yeah, we want to find Gerald. Mm-hmm. If, if, if uh, we got sent here, there's a chance that he and some, maybe someone else. Yeah, hopefully. Here. But we still haven't found Jimmy. You think Jimmy's here? Your dad was in Egypt. I don't know where Jimmy is, but well, we haven't maybe we'll found find him. him. So, that's what we are going to do. <laughs> yeah. I, if you would like to join us, you can. I but if would, not, but, we'll leave you. But, but what? I kind of, I would feel a little guilty. Like, these people have helped me get out. And I feel like I need to repay them in some way. Well, Is we there anything we can... Bartold, uh, roll perception. What? Oh, shit. Not bad. I feel like... Yes. Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah, ten. One male talking, so. Uh, okay. Uh, you see, uh, Abigail goes into the passport office mm-hmm. with the rest of everybody else. Yeah. Um, but you notice very closely behind her, almost as if following her, um, was the detective. Shit. From level seven. Oh, shit. Um, Fuck. You recognize his, you know, snow white hair. And uh, he goes into the passport office behind her. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. God, I, I have to, I have, Bart, Barthold would, Barthold would go after them. Wait, what? He's just, he Alex, I him. will be back. I w- wait, what, what, where are you going? Where are you going, what, dude? What's happening? Um, I know that man, and this can't be good. Oh my god. We can't split up. Dude, again. I don't want to leave any. I don't want to be alone, bro. Uh, I feel like every time we split up, <laughs> split up it's not good. Oh, it's never good. It's, it's never not, good, bro. It's, it's let's, never good. Let's, I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go after god him. Damn it. Fine. Fuck. Okay. Alright, uh, you guys all run into it. the passport office. What the uh, hell? You see, it is very crowded. There are many different lines. Uh, and you see. Um, on the far, far right-hand side, the line of everybody. Uh, Abigail, all the refugees, uh, and Bartold, uh, go ahead, roll, investigate. Fuck. 17. Uh, you see Detective Chambers is sitting on a bench Detective nearby Chambers. watching them. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm going to go up. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to distract him, talk to him. Hello, Detective Chambers. You remember me? You're the homeless man. Well, not so homeless anymore. I found a job, a place to work. Well, uh, that's good for you. Uh, can you? What? What seems to be the problem, there, officer? I try to like raise my voice to like, uh, maybe oh. like, uh, as help them notice. As you're trying to distract him, what are the two of you doing? Uh, I think I notice exactly what he's trying to do um and i try to like the office i'm like still I'm, like behind the officer so you can't really see mm-hmm. and i am looking at like molly and abigail and i'm like where the fuck do you go uh you're 
You're looking at them, you're trying to usher them, and you see uh, Connor is talking to a man behind the desk at the passport office. Um, sitting behind the desk, um, he is a tall, lanky man um, wearing a white button-up and a very loose kind of tie. Black hair all matted and strangly all over the place. Uh, and he's he's talking to Connor and... Um, uh, go ahead, roll people. perception or investigate, all of you. Wait, that wait. is probably where that's he where, finds that's, desperate people. That's where he finds the desperate people ah, who want wait, the fucking passports. I'm kind of lost right now. Fucking, I rolled a two. I know, I know ah, what's gonna happen. Ah, what's I know what's, I know what's okay, gonna happen. Okay, well, I rolled 18, 19, 20. You rolled a 20? Yes. What's yes. happening? Yes! Uh, uh, what's what's happening? Investigate. I got a 10. Dude, uh, that's fucking good. That's Jimmy? Yeah. Uh, so you hear, uh, Connor talking to him. He's like, hey, uh, I heard you can get us passports for, uh, for a bit of a lower price. Dude! Uh, and uh, the guy behind the the counter goes like, yeah, provide you with passports for a cheaper price, but um, I only want, I, I, I'm only going to meet with one of you. If there's too many people, then it, it's suspicious. Um, we saw you coming. Connor looks back at everybody. He's like, um, okay, um, Anybody? Any any volunteers? Where where would you meet? Oh, just the just the alley. Not not too far from here. I'll do it. All right. Um. Okay. Uh. Yes, sir. Uh. That'll be uh ten passports. Yes, ten passports. Uh, thank you. I'm still distracted. Now. Uh. And then the guy's like, all right. Um. Meet you guys out back and um, just act natural. Is it fine? I don't sweet. trust him. You guys need to tell us, but be careful. Be casual. Like, I want, we'll follow you. Yes. Just to we're we're seat. backing her up. Okay, yeah. yeah, we're backing you up, okay? Deception, no way stealth, we... stealth. Stealth, ah. stealth. Yeah, 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 we got this. Come on. It's... Come on, we got this. Come on. Uh, no! Okay. I, uh, oh, fuck. I alleyed. I fully alleyed. Okay, yeah, alleyed, yeah. okay. Um, Pull the Beardsley. Pull the Beardsley. I got it. That's 17. I got uh, plus, 13. Uh, 19. 19 stuff. Okay, so basically we're just following her. We're following her. She's fully. You rolled shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I got a fucking. I'll, I'll switch it. I'll swap into your place and fucking take him down. Yeah, that's what I do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's you cool. go really into cool. the alleyway. Mm-hmm. Um, as you're walking, uh, you see kind of like cracks along the floor, like a, a strange circle. Uh, Have I seen Jimmy do that before? The, the pit thing? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, but you just see like cracks in the floor uh, in like a circle. It's no longer a pit, but you see cracks in the floor. Um, no. Bottle's like posted up behind like the wall. Uh, sitting at the end of the alleyway uh, with his duffel bag, um, you see the tall, lanky man um, with gloves on his hand. Oh no. I, oh. I know those gloves. You know those you gloves. You do know those gloves. You, help, you, you were in the same laboratory when Jimmy designed them. Those are Jimmy's gloves. Do we have like a cigar or anything? We uh, should have made a Oh shit. So we're just it's too like, late. It's, already, it's already started. It's already started. started. Uh, we're already going. Can you perception for me? Or investigate? God. Yeah. Um, perception or investigate? Which one's higher, I guess? They're both plus three. Ooh. 17. Mm-hmm. You notice that uh, the man is still kind of like in his work attire and he has a name tag on. Uh, and the name tag reads James Harvey Oswald. James Harvey Oswald? Like Lee Harvey Oswald? All right. You continue going down the alley as the man is waiting. You're um, picking up 10 passports? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Where's the money? Right here. Show me. I'm gonna. Do I see this going down? We both see this yeah. going down. Yeah. He has right? his hands in it. Because we are really close to my to the dude. You are kind of like towards the end of the alley. All right. I'm gonna get it behind like a dumpster, I guess. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put my hand out, cast poison spray. Uh, <gasps> if I see her do that, I'm gonna run and try to tackle the dude. Okay. 
I don't like the fact that he has Jimmy's gloves. I don't trust that. Yeah, at- no. Oh. All right. All right uh, please, so please. you're gonna attack him. What is the what is the saving throw? It's a Constitution saving throw. Constitution. All right. Uh, he rolled a I plus two, so it's a seventeen. Fuck. He takes half damage. I don't think he takes any damage. Oh shit. Oh man. Fuck. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So I can do. Uh, I can still do fuck. it. <laughs> so he doesn't take any damage. Uh, I, um, and then Bartold, you ch- you said you wanted to go up and attack him. Uh, I rage first. I rage first. Smart. You go into yes. a rage. Smart. I go into a rage, which means I access my wild search table. New shit, Let's baby. Uh, this we could potentially be six fuck. Hold on. Uh, I have like a play. So as Bartold levels up, he gets more things like this. Uh, so yes. two. I teleport thirty feet into an unoccupied space that I can see. Okay. I teleport onto the fucking dude. Okay. And grapple him. You grapple him. <laughs> uh, grapple. <laughs> it, is there? There's a saving throw for grapple, correct? Uh, it's uh, so I. It's like a. I, I'm is just making versus? strength throw. Okay. You're making strength. So you, it's his, it's his strength versus my strength. Okay. It's, and I have advantage because I'm in range. All right. Okay. Let's go. Oh. So the first one. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Again. Fuck me. One. Fuck. Fuck. Please. 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 Oh, Sixteen. Plus. plus uh, is it five? Plus my uh, plus three. So oh, three. that's gonna be nineteen, 19 oh. versus his strength. You had an 18. So I fucking explode in lightning and fucking just like, like a lightning strike on top of him and grabbed him. All right, uh, you are now gripping this dude tight and he starts Ooh, trying to wow. wiggle out of out of your grasp. Okay. Let me go. I'm trying to help you guys, okay? Would you like to play a game? No? Well, that's too bad. Where the fuck is Jimmy? Who? I'm not a fucking idiot. I can see the gloves on your hand. Where the fuck did you get those? I'm gonna charm him. Take his gloves. Take, first of all, take his gloves. Oh, yeah. First of all, take the fucking gloves. Take his gloves yep, off? go right ahead. I'm gonna take those gloves off. You gotta not watch. You don't need anything. You, you okay. can just pull them off. So I pull them off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna put them on. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what I use my invisibility for. Just uh, yeah. Do you do put them on. You now have all of Jimmy's spells at your at your hand. Uh, so you guys have uh James Harvey Oswald fully. Yes. No, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you have him fully, fully grappled. Um, Jimmy has speak with inanimate objects. Okay. Can we speak with the gloves? Would that be a thing we can do? Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. Asking for a location. Where? <laughs> Why are you? It's like Siri. It's like Siri. It's totally like Siri. Yeah. Ooh, Siri. Locate um, order. Um, <laughs> Locate um, Blondie. Where? Where? Where is Jimmy? Uh, you see, uh, the little, there's a little screen on the back of his hands, uh, that he typically uses for, like, picking his different spells and things like that. Uh, and it spells out in blue letters, basement. Basement. And then it flashes and turns into an arrow. Pointing behind you. GPS, baby. Oh, Jimmy, your gloves are so fucking cool. cool. They're so powerful. Can I, like, pop out of invisibility so y'all know that I'm still here? <laughs> yeah, go around. Right. Yeah. Oh, guys, that was really cool. Yeah. What the fuck? Sorry, uh, I just activated a little Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you. Nope, you're gonna no, die. No, fuck you. No, you're gonna die now. No, I'm not. Fuck you. I've, uh, can I, like, attack him? You have a hair. You have your You have one <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I listen, 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 Mom. listen, listen. Stop fucking moving so much. I need to kill you. <laughs> I do. Listen, I don't know what this looks like. Okay, I bought those. You know exactly what it looks I like. I bought those gloves off a dude on the black market. All right. I'm sure you did. He was he was a hitman. Okay, he was a hitman. He was a hitman. Yes, I bought him off of a hitman. Uh, insight. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I do insight? Uh, do insight. He's gonna roll. Fuck ten again. Uh, insight. Uh, I got a nat one. I got a twelve. You got a twelve. Mm-hmm. Is he lying? He... Where is it? He rolled. Uh, during 20. Fucker. Oh, damn, dude. You bought it from one. a hitman. Yes! He, uh, um, blonde guy, all black. He, um... Well, the gloves say that... Well, we're just gonna follow the gloves. Okay, the gloves. yeah, I'll come with you. No, you won't. Um, well, yes, you actually, are, but because I'm holding you. Fine. Fucking fine by me. Just if he, walk if he does anything wrong, we'll fucking we'll kill fuck him. We'll fuck him up. Yeah, we fuck him up. Yeah! Mm. Oh, smart. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys uh, follow the gloves, uh, and it starts, you start uh, weaving in and out between buildings uh, in the third level okay. uh, until you come back to a kind of staircase up to level four. 
Uh, but the gloves lead you to a red front door. Can we go in? Is it a locked door? I would like to go in, please. I have 14. Uh, yeah, so you... Kick. Fuck yeah, Alex! Okay, the door, right beside Woo. the door. We would use pay it, off! Uh, yeah! It slams open, and you look into, like, a very kind of quaint little apartment. You know? It's a nice little house. Keep going. Um, yeah. the, gloves. Uh, the gloves lead you deeper and deeper into the room. Right. Uh, is there anything in this house that suggests that this guy has it? Uh, any no. photos? Any is, it's literally just, just the most glaze, house. basic Probably. vanilla Makes house sense. you've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Looks like a freaking yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer type house. You just keep following the gloves. Um, yeah, no, follow the gloves. You follow the gloves. The gloves lead you to the hallway, and at the very end of the hallway, you see a massive steel door. God damn like it. a bank vault type door. Bro, I'm gonna ask hell? him, do you recognize this door? No. Like a normal bank vault, it's like this big kind of crank wheel yeah. that's in front of it. Uh, so if you want to do it, I'm gonna ask for a strength check. Oh, can I give okay. you guidance even though I'm holding, like, can I just like bark? Or she can give me bardic. Yeah. Oh, me. yeah. Bardic. Yeah. Well, good. That's a fucking and two. And then, man. wait, it's a D6. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not gonna do shit. Yeah. Uh, that's a five. <laughs> five. Or less. I will, I will let you roll. Yeah. Dude. I'll give you guidance. All Worst right, case scenario. Wait, so what? Or is it just a regular? D20? Just strength. Strength. Okay. Yeah, I give you guidance strength. if you use it. Plus I'll one. give you guidance. Come on. And you can add it. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. that one. It's a nat one. Um, it seems that at this point in time, it seems like the only person who could open the door is Barthold. Shit. Uh, do you, have, you guys have anything to fucking restrain this man while I do it? I don't know if that would work. Um, um, I don't know if that would work. Are you going to run away if I let you go? Don't then don't let him go. Wait, wait. Don't what, let does him go. Wait. Spells on his like gloves. That's that, like, what I'm trying to. Grappling. That's thing. what I'm trying to think. You know. I could magnify. Could I magnify gravity? Oh my god, magnify gravity! Yeah, yeah dude! Keep him in place! Stick Keep to the floor! Place. That's why you'd have to be. You'd have to like run and then I'd have to get him. So I, that's why I have to think of something like. It's risky. It's really risky. Because you guys will have to roll. Okay. Well. Unless if there's nothing that like. Fuck. Could affect him individually. Oh, I have to open this door. Lost some question. Guys, I have, to, I have to open the door. Yeah, if I, if I knew if he was charmed. If I asked him something, would that? I have, I have to fucking, I have to open the door. I have, I have to do okay, it. Okay, I'll try to be fast. When you do that, I can do magnifying gravity on him. Alrighty. And uh, we yeah. can try that. I, I can, I, I get. I'm not gonna run to the door immediately, but I'm gonna like push him off and get ready to fight him. Yeah, right. Fight him. You get, you guys fucking ready? Yeah. So sure. fucking. Ha! You push him off. Yeah, I try to like and knock him down or something. I do uh, magnify gravity. Roll initiative. Uh, uh fifth, uh, seventeen. Uh, you nineteen. Roll two, five, yeah, nineteen. Eighteen. Oh, nineteen. Sorry. Oh, so nineteen. Okay. So who wants to go first? Uh, Me probably. Yeah, does. you definitely do. Oh, he does. Because he wants to go first. Oh shit! Some bitch. So you let him go, and he still acts charmed, relaxed. He acts. I don't believe him. He smiles. I don't believe him. Uh, Tiama, make a dexterity saving throw. I'm fucked. I, I, no, um, I, I got this. Um, 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 do you want me to do anything with my No, I can't do anything. No, it's okay. Um, 18. Just try to open the door. Yeah. He steps forward quickly, still smiling, pulls a syringe from his belt, slams it into your neck, and no. ejects it. Even with a dex? He has extremely high dexterity. Fuck me. Um, um, Ivy, you are now drugged. Where the fuck is him at? And you are starting is to lose it? consciousness. Oh no, hold on. Uh, um, she can't be put to I sleep. I can't be put to sleep. You cannot? I can't. She I'm, can't. I'm totally can't. I can't be put to sleep. I totally can't be put to sleep. <laughs> Damn, all right, go. Then yes! Yes! Oh, oh, my God. God. Let's fucking go. Okay. Dude. It's your turn. I go. might go. <laughs> him. Oh, uh, my God. He has to make a, fuck, a constitution saving throw. 
All right, so uh, he has to get 13. All right, he has a plus two constitution. Okay, so 11 or higher. 11 or higher. 50-50 chance, dude. Fucking 50-50 chance. Oh, shit. He rolled a B6. Six. Six. So yeah, this is good. If I grab, so okay, it's cool. he gets two D eight damage, and he is um, what's it called? His speed is cut in half. Yeah, he can't. He can barely move. Okay. So, two uh, so damage. with the JJ glyph, you essentially reach forward mm-hmm. and just send out this essentially amplifying wave yeah. that just has him pretty much drop mm-hmm. to his knees as gravity pulls him down to the ground. Roll. Uh, eleven damage. Eleven damage. Nice. He is very weak. Falls to his knees from the pain. And just start screaming and laughing at the Should same time. Should I just take him out? Should I just take him out before <laughs> I get to the door? I mean, if we take him out, um... Because then we're... I also have just gentle... Just fucking do it. I have gentle repose, so if we need to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a corpse. He could not get up off the ground. Uh-huh. Uh, he is reading in pain. Uh because he is he is looking very, very badly injured. Okay, I'm and he's just that down. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, well, you also you board? you go out, you go for me. So. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, yeah. it's me, huh? Fuck okay. Him up. Yeah, bro. You, I mean, like you still have your gun, right? Yeah, you're really loud. <laughs> I want to pull out my gun. Pull out your gun. Fire away. <laughs> well, you need to roll it. Oh yeah. Over. <laughs> He's on the ground. He can't move. He <laughs> has this. You have advantage. You have, you have advantage. advantage. So roll twice. twice. Roll, roll twice. twice. Five. Good oh, lord. Eleven. My lucky number. Wait, do you have a? Do you have something to add to that? What's your next modifier? Dex. 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 So thirteen. 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 You're really loud. I point the gun at him and I fire. I mean, how much damage do you do? Two d eight. It's two d eight. Roll. Fuck him up. What the fuck is a two d eight? Wait, is this an eight? It's the this. It's no. No. That's a ten. I'm sorry, guys. It's a ten. All right. Yeah, that's why. So roll it twice. If you roll the instant you roll more than three, he's done. Okay, well, that's... That's yeah, kind of easy. Wait, ready, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Six! Six. Okay. Fucking knock him out. To... Oh, my God. His laughing, his screaming stops. The whole room goes quiet. <sighs> yeah. Bartold, you're at the door. I rush to the door. I, I throw... I... Roll for strength. I'm still... Second amendment. Nat 20! Nat 20! Let's go! You I fucking... turn the crank. The door opens. Flies down. Jimmy... You see, you see your friend, and you see these people. <laughs> this kid, and you see the random Viking that you and Gerald were torturing. Two um, men. Hello, scientist. Jimmy. I have the gloves on. I, yeah, I run towards him. I go for him. Sorry, I had to fuck you. Do, I see, do I see Gerald? Oh my god, Gerald. Hey. Yeah. Guys. Fuck you, man. Dude. Uh, what I the fuck is this? This is all I your fault. I know. Do I see Flapoo? I'm, you do. You I see him. I take that. I take that. Uh, hey, no, um, you're gonna fucking rock, man. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. I should. I'm, you're I, no, I should. I should. Yes. I should. I should. Why are you realizing Why? this now? For what? Also, maybe we should. I know. wanted to change things. Oh, I'm about what to kill you. What did you, you. want to change? I really do want to kill you right now. You guys aren't changing me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you get, you're free, Jimmy. Uh, yeah. And it is now Gerald and Eduardo who are still kind of chained up. Yeah. Um, I, I, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't fucking change. What? I don't have any. Wait, what did you want to change? Roll persuasion. Also, where's his funny time button? I have him. Yeah, it's okay. in his left coat. All right, all right, cool. That's a two, bro. Do I get advantage? No. Fuck! I know, but I thought I'd try it. Mistake. Mm -hmm. I'm already changing mistake, and I just made a bigger one. Yeah, you did. You can't change shit. Listen, okay. Um, uh, to power the button, um, uh, the Viking needs to surge his electricity into it. Use it all you like. Just please, um, can you give me my leg back? Don't you fucking dare. Leg? Don't do it. His leg is on the table with all the tools. You see, like, like I was saying earlier to Jimmy, his 
who like, has been beaten up. This sociopath started pulling the remaining stitches and staples out from like Gerald's leg with his oh, nub. Oh God, he's physically. I don't care. I, I don't. I don't like trust him. him. I don't want I him don't to do trust it. Ivy, Ivy. I. I was, you know, like a brother to to Arthur, and I like to think I was one to you, but I have didn't abused like that. It. Yeah, didn't act like it. You shut me out. I shut everyone out except for... <laughs> okay, this is Ivy, we can take the money. He starts crying. Um, we can leave him here. I would not blame you. I would do the same. I'd honestly kill him right now if I didn't think... Uh, Jimmy, make a uh, persuasion check. You don't have to say anything. Just, just roll persuasion. You reminded me of Arthur. Gerald looks at Jimmy. That's why I hired you. I just, I just, I wanted. He needed to know. And then Gerald just kind of like sits back and slumps against the wall, still chained up. Ivy, what are we waiting for? Let's return to our time. Come on, man. I need my daughter. I I don't like him, but I can't leave him. Yes, you can. He's done so much evil. He's put us through so much shit. Why? Does there need to be a reason why? Fuck. Ivy, if you stand in the way of me and my daughter, I don't want to stand in the way of anyone, but put yourself in my shoes. I've known him since I was a kid. He's the closest, after my brother died, he was the closest thing I had. I would talk to my parents. What the fuck am I meant to do here? You're meant to do the right thing. Send us home. Uh, just a fair warning. The button if you couldn't guess by now, is it precise? Yeah, I... The button isn't precise. It's random. We could just be stuck in different time periods. Shit. No matter how many times we push a button, it would just be the same thing over and over. We would have to find ourselves again. So and we try to reality. at least, like, regroup. Figure shit out. Wait. A little bit for a second here. Wait, hold on. Him. He said that he wanted us to... Who is the man in the brown suit? Yes. Why does he know Who you? is the man in the brown suit, and what does he want to do with you? And he will get us home. He was your partner. He said he knew you, and Arthur, and Ivy. So talk. Um, he was a mistake. He was the mistake? I'm gonna need more than that. What do you Or else mean? I'm gonna start pulling through your nails, dude. <sighs> just, just, um... I'll make a deal. I know I'm not a... You're not place. in any I know I'm not in place to make no, any deal. Not at all. But I, I want my leg. I don't... Why do you want your leg so bad? That's yeah, honestly. What do you mean? Why do I want my leg so bad? You got two of them. Why can't I? Your leg has some sort of tech. I'm not. I'm not a fool. I'm no fool. I've seen great technology. Did him want us to defeat? What is him in your, or What is in your leg? Him? That is so. Where is he? And why does he only show him sometimes? Like, did we do it? Like, we caught him. Like, he's in our. I I hold up his leg. I'm gonna hold up his leg in my hand. Feel Give us more information, please, or else we'll break your fucking leg. I'm scared to, okay? I'm scared to. Of well, that's what? Too damn bad. Of him! You should be scared of me. What? What is he? He's a god. God? Like him? No. No, he, he's him not the a brown god. Suit. He's an avatar. Him the brown. What do you mean, a god? You created a god. We were fighting gods. I didn't create a god. I worked for one. 
Oh. You. I was his avatar. Fuck! Uh, can I, wait, can I roll, um, I, insight in case? Yeah, roll insight. Oh yeah, what the fuck am I bleeding again? Can I roll it? Yeah. Uh, 13 plus, uh, 15? Yeah, no, I got a settled. You can do it if you want Can to. I roll it? Yeah, yeah please. Roll it. I'm curious, George, as well. 11. Uh, Bart, you rolled the highest. He's telling the truth. Okay. You've He's seen... You I've have seen, I've seen Avatar. You've I'm seen familiar. men. You've seen Avatar. You've seen familiar. men. You've seen I've the seen relationship Avatar. that gods Avatar. have with men. You know, gods can be fickle. You can have gods like Thor, who just straight up don't care and will have sex with anybody. Of course. And then you have gods like Amon, who don't care about human life. Did your god tell you to kidnap me and make this machine? No. What did he tell you? Give me my life. He's afraid of the god. Uh, can I intimidate check to try to squeeze out that last yeah, bit of information? Do an intimidation yeah, check. Go for it. Fucking three. Here, oh, wait, I can intimidate too. Yeah, go for, go it. for it. Yeah. Five. Eight. Ring the oh. floor. No. <laughs> that doesn't work here. No. Well, no. That's a 12. No. I got a 12. Uh, you know, I'll try. Uh, uh, intimidate. This is for fucking whatever. What is intimidate? Uh, it's charisma. It's yeah. It's, a chari- it's plus charisma. Oh, this is all about who has I the most charisma. charisma. <laughs> 11. Fuck. I, know. I don't know. I, I have charm person, but I don't know if that's I my wisdom. Listen, here's the middle ground. Okay? The cops will find him soon. You know, the creep upstairs. And we kill him. Leave me here. Take the button. I don't like it. I don't know. As much as I if, hate it, we If hate him it. can just change time. As much as I hate it. Then we, he could bring. We, we need. We need. We need <laughs> I give him his fucking leg back. Yeah, I think. Thank you. Thank you. You watch yourself. Uh, you yeah, we're, we're all around. move the leg towards his and it like almost instantly just like <laughs> sucks up. It is like a tight suction cup of a leg, and you see it like starts to calibrate, and like he gets to move his ankle around. Is he still chained? I don't he is still yeah, chained. We have an unchained him. Okay. okay. Thank you. So we can't get any more information. Now tell us. No. Now tell us. Please. Now I'll tell us what. You done. With his <laughs> leg, Gerald. Before you can, Gerald activates on off and turns on the switch. 